Roadshow this morning in the buzz. The conventional wisdom about charging for news online is swung from one extreme to another. Beginning today, the Hollywood trade newspaper Variety is putting its website behind a paywall, reserving online content for paid subscribers. Variety plans to shut off free access gradually, and then after about two months, the newspaper plans to block free access entirely. Variety says they will initially charge a promotional rate of $2.48 a year for access of any of its content, including daily and weekly print offerings, the website and the iPhone application, and that's roughly what the uh, average of what current subscribers pay for the print version now. Uh, I mean, newspapers really are uh, a dying medium. Yeah. How do you guys feel about the fact that they want to charge online? Do you think it'll work? Do you think it's appropriate? I don't really know. <laughs> I can tell you what I think. There we go. We'll do that. Uh, online, you look at a, a, a New York Times, a Wall Street Journal. Wall Street Journal does very well with their online. Uh, they're behind a wall for the most part. Yeah. Uh, people are not going to pay for just the AP wire on, on, your, on, your, uh, on your website, like the Boston Globe and the Boston Herald. If all they're showing is AP wire, they're not going to pay for that because they can get that on a thousand different websites yeah. out there. But for something like Variety, where it's pretty much all Entertainment. original, yeah. then I can understand them paying. The problem is, is when you charge the exact same amount as the print costs. Yeah. You save so much by not printing that. Yeah. You should pass on the discount. I, the thing that I think, you know, for me, I really enjoy reading the New York Times. I think they have specific articles that I'm, that I'm looking for. I think what they're going to have to do, though, is figure out a way that it becomes easy. I, don't th I wouldn't pay $248 to read the New York yeah. Times, but I would if there was, like, something that I could click that says, you know, click here to pay $1 for your PayPal access or mm -hmm. something, where I didn't have to enter any information and somehow I just, you know, set up some sort of account that on any newspaper I could click and pay a, pay a dollar. Yeah. I would probably do that, and it might even add up to two hundred forty-eight dollars. But I can't imagine sitting down and paying that much money uh, at once ahead of everything. Yeah, that's very expensive. That's it very is expensive. tricky. And the other thing too is, I, I do. The other thing that I do notice is, if I'm reading magazines and they've been archived, a lot of times I will be willing to, to pay a little money because I know it's you know it's out of print or it's out of date. But I think trying to make the switch from people who are willing to uh, who have, who've gotten it for free for so long to making the switch to saying now you have to pay and it's a it's a three digit number is going to be very it's tricky. Very very. And I think eventually they'll get the subscription model. Down down so where you pay monthly or you pay weekly well, and, and they'll ch they'll charge you less overall if you buy a bigger subscription. Well, and not only that, but if the iPhone is connected to, you know, if you do it on the iPhone, I think that'll be much easier because they can connect it. Maybe they can charge your account. Yeah. You know, maybe if you worked with a newspaper that worked with the iPhone, you could just click a button and uh, and you would get a discount as an iPhone user or something. All I know is the print, the actual print piece is yeah. gone. I mean, there's there's no way that that is going to survive. Yeah. A lot of people like having the, the, the newspaper residue on their fingers when they're turning yeah. the pages. Like, I like this. I personally like this. But yeah. the next generation, don't well, care. The, you know what's funny is it's really making its way into pop culture because I was watching, we were talking about what shows we like earlier today, and I like the show uh, Accidentally on Purpose. Mm -hmm. And they all work in a newspaper newsroom, and they were saying, you know, newspaper is a, is a dying medium. So I thought it was really interesting that they even addressed And it's so expensive. Issue. It's expensive to well, print to that. Yeah, it it is expensive to print, but and I mean, Thursday's for the show is only a dollar. Which is very inexpensive compared to other, other cities. Yeah. You know, Courtney, I want to bring you into this because uh, Vince is being suspiciously quiet about this particular subject. So I wanted to ask your opinion. Do you think uh, people will pay for uh, subscriptions to content that they f previously got for, for free? I think if it catches on, and Sean and I were talking about this earlier, if it's original content and if you're getting more than you'd maybe get in the paper, I think people will. Also, if it's cheap, um, people.com gives you a little bit like snippets of articles and then they say buy the newspaper or the magazine to read more. If they had the extended content online, if it was like, I don't know, a dollar a day or a dollar per use, I think I could swing that. But I don't know about 248 up front. But uh, here's what some of our bloggers are saying on foxprovidence.com. And Lisa says, nope, I'm not paying for it. One artist says, the only thing I have paid for online is a news story at a newspaper website. And uh, Jerry, the grill master, says, no way, I wouldn't pay, and I don't even buy the newspaper. So uh, that's where he stands right now. We have a poll on foxprovidence.com. If we can take a look at that right now, we're asking, would you pay for online news and, and content? And um, you guys can vote on that now. And we also have 
the buzz on Facebook, and we have about four comments so far. And uh, Bill says, good luck with that one. Christine says, no, I would not pay to read the news online. And Kristen says, no, we already pay for satellite, cable, or the converter box to get some type of reception. Why would I want to pay for it online, too? So uh, you can come on a number of ways, weighing on the poll or Facebook. But I'll be back in about a half hour with those results to see what you guys are saying. Uh, Lily, you're in the kitchen. What's going on? I sure am, Cordy. And